Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise Make Art, and welcome to my channel. And I wanted to take a moment to do a little introduction today. I don't normally do that. I'm usually very precise in trying to get the videos out and all the information that you need and don't do a whole lot of gabbing. Um, but today I wanted to just take a moment to uh, reflect on the year. As the year is winding down, we have Christmas coming up tomorrow and we have New Year's coming up in a week. It's always a good time to reflect back on the year and accomplishments, areas where you need to improve, and just in general, refocus yourself on where you want to go. And I just wanted to reflect back on last year, uh, 2023, and wanted to thank you guys. With all of your help, I picked up 5,500 subscribers in 2023 and had over 900,000 views. And um, I'm just grateful I'm able to keep learning. I'm grateful that you guys are still supporting me and encouraging me and giving me advice here and there when I need it. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. So now with that aside, as far as this video, I have a dueling jar lid coming up. And the two jar lid uh, creations are created slightly different from each other. And I will go over it as I am letting the video roll. And also in this video, I will be doing all voiceover and music because I was recording it with music playing in the background. I can't have that play out. So just want to say thank you again. Wish everybody a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. I want you to celebrate in the best way possible and bring in the new year as safely and peacefully and with as much adventure as you can. And without any further ado, let's get the video started. So jumping right into the video here, I have the volume turned down and I'm going to be voicing over and doing music as we go. The jar on the right was a pour over because I didn't like the way it turned out. And I'm doing two jars here. And between the two of them, I'm going to layer them just slightly different from each other. And I'll cover that as we go. But once again, I'm using my Multi Pro as my pillow. And I'll have my five colors I'll be covering as we go through this. And I've pointed this out in prior videos, but this is a very easy, fun way of trying out a color palette without wasting too much paint. You get a small opportunity and it still gives you the same results. And I would recommend this to anybody. So speaking of colors, the first color laid down is Golden's Shading Gray with Modern Masters Pearl White. That second color there was Arteza's Cadmium Oxide Green with golden's carbon black and now here you're going to see the difference on the left i have iridescent silver going down with arteza's pistachio and on the right i have a homemade light green made with arteza's pearl golden hour and sky blue now we're back on the same track again and both have tlp's grenache going down which is a fabulous color by the way and then on the left we have the homemade light green and on the right we have the silver with Arteza's pistachio. Now honestly speaking in the end I don't see a whole lot of difference in the results between these two and it may be because these are just so small. I'm not going to see a great big difference but just wanted to point that out. Here's my white and black cell activator. It's video 141. I will link it here and now I'm getting ready to blow out these jar lids and these are usually pretty easy to blow out. I blow straight down into the center to try to get that circle like you see and then where that where that air has blown down into a circle it kind of forms a ridge and I blow on the ridge which blows the cell activator out over the paint and the paints out over the pillow and then I stretch out the composition as best I can before I get ready to start spinning it. So this insert of the jar lids are another video creation, video 306, where I use the exact same color palette only in the reverse order. So you can see how the order might affect things and I will also flash this up at the very end as well. And now I think I'm gonna give you guys a break for me and just let some music play.
So, and that's a wrap. Here are the two final results with the light green last on the left and the silver last on the right. And here are the two final resin results and the flyover of the resin results. I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. And these are different from video 306, which I just inset above. Those are a lot softer in the color palette than this particular sequence. And this one, for some reason, and it's just the way I guess it lays out, the Grenache and the green play much stronger in this sequence. So once again, the sequence and layering make a big difference in the final result. So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will have a link to my jar lid playlist at the very end here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care and happy holidays.